The protocol stack is an implementation of a computer networking protocol suite. The terms are often used interchangeably. Strictly speaking, the suite is the definition of the protocols, and the stack is the software implementation of them. Individual protocols within a suite are often designed with a single purpose in mind. This modularization makes design and evaluation easier. Because each protocol module usually communicates with two others, they are commonly imagined as layers in a stack of protocols. The lowest protocol always deals with low-level, physical interaction of the hardware. Every higher layer adds more features. User applications usually deal only with the topmost layers. In practical implementation, protocol stacks are often divided into three major sections, media, transport, and applications. A particular operating system or platform will often have two well-defined software interfaces, one between the media and transport layers, and one between the transport layers and applications. The media to transport interface defines how transport protocol software makes use of particular media and hardware types. For example, this interface level would define how TCP IP transport software would talk to Ethernet hardware. Examples of these interfaces include ODI and NDIS and the Microsoft Windows and DOS environment. The application to transport interface defines how application programs make use of the transport layers. For example, this interface level would define how a web browser program would talk to TCP IP transport software. Examples of these interfaces include Berkeley Sockets and System V Streams in the Unix world, and Winsock in the Microsoft world. General Protocol Suite Description TT, A, B, C Imagine three computers, A, B, and C, A and B both have radio equipment, and can communicate via the airwaves using a suitable network protocol B and C are connected via a cable, using it to exchange data. However, neither of these two protocols will be able to transport information from A to C, because these computers are conceptually on different networks. One, therefore, needs an inter-network protocol to connect them. One could combine the two protocols to form a powerful third, mastering both cable and wireless transmission, but a different super protocol would be needed for each possible combination of protocols. It is easier to leave the base protocols alone and design a protocol that can work on top of any of them this will make two stacks of two protocols each. The inter-network protocol will communicate with each of the base protocol in their simpler language. The base protocols will not talk directly to each other. A request on computer A to send a chunk of data to C is taken by the upper protocol, which knows that C is reachable through B. It, therefore, instructs the wireless protocol to transmit the data packet to B. On this computer, the lower layer handlers will pass the packet up to the inter-network protocol, which, on recognizing that B is not the final destination, will again invoke lower level functions. This time, the cable protocol is used to send the data to C. There, the received packet is again passed to the upper protocol, which will pass it onto a higher protocol or application on C. Often an even higher level protocol will sit on top, and incur further processing. An example protocol stack and the corresponding layers. Example implementation. See also, cross-layer optimization, GHN, hierarchical internetworking model, internet protocol suite, network protocol design principles, OSI protocol suite, service layer, TCP IP model, WAP protocol suite, X25 protocol suite, network protocol stack E6. IBM Systems Network Architecture, DECnet, Signaling System No. 7. References What is a protocol stack? HTTP, www.abapedia.com, Abapedia. Retrieved February 21, 2010. A protocol stack is a set of network protocol layers that work together. The OSI reference model that defines seven protocol layers is often called a stack as is the set of TCP IP protocols that define communication over the Internet. Georg Enstrae. The OSI model, part 10. The application layer HTTP, www.ikarut at, Ikarut. Retrieved February 21, 2010. 
The application layer is the topmost layer of the OSI model, and it provides services that directly support user applications, such as database access, email, and file transfers, 